Defense Secretary Delfin Lorenzana and other members of the Cabinet, Senator Bongo, Senator Ronald De La Rosa, AFP Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Philemon Santos, and other major service commanders, members of the Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association, led by its Chairman Rufo de Vera, other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It is not every day that one is given the opportunity to talk before a gathering of this kind, especially at this time when there is so much talk to talk about. For that opportunity given me, thank you very much. Those who passed through the storied halls and hallowed grounds of the Philippine Military Academy share a common bond, the depth of sense of which cannot be fully understood by those who have not lived in its quarters, marched in its drill, and undergone the traditional rites of manhood. That ban can only be expressed in one word, Mista. If there is much mystique hidden in that word, it is more than friendship. It is more than a camaraderie. It is a feeling of sense and pride that only a PMA graduate fully comprehend and appreciate. Years and years of Philippine Military Academy history, as well as the individual careers and fate of its graduates, are embodied in one word. That is why the sacred PMA graduate cannot be doubted. Its sanctity cannot be challenged. To an outsider like me, Mista is synonymous with honor, discipline, competence, and loyalty. These are values that make for a soldier and a gentleman. It is said that to be called Mista is the highest compliment that can ever be extended by a pay mayor by his peers. It is said Again, that the career of a PME graduate does not end when he retires from military service. To a mayor, retirement is not the end, but merely the bend in the road. His duty to country and people never ends. It is enduring. His retirement and military service simply means that his life has entered a second phase that for all we know can be more consuming and demanding than the first. Whether or not a second phase caters to tasks and functions aligned with public governance or to a purely private matter, it is not the point though. What matters is that the wealth of talent, expertise, and experience that every Filipino alumnus commands is not wasted but kept in reserve for the nation's beneficial use at a proper time. And this is where your association, the alumni, the association, the Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association, assumes relevancy. We cannot overemphasize the influence and moral ascendancy of your alumni associa association's officers bear on the cadets and graduates of your alma mater. Prudence dictates that you can keep track of your members' whereabouts, their career changes, and their activities that impact on public service 
and public welfare. The image of both the Philippine Military Academy and the Philippine Military Academy Alumni Association Incorporated is only as good as the image that each one of you projects to the public. Once Kalawag among you can destroy or dent that image and reputation of every mayor. Your alma mater and your association included. It takes one fly to spoil a feast. It takes one scandal to ruin an avowed moral and ethical standard. Make use of your moral ascendancy. Police your own ranks. You owe it to, you owe it to the academy that nourished you. Indeed, there is much you can do to help this country. You can pause for a while and look around. You see premiers holding forth in local government units in both houses of Congress, numerous departments and agencies of executive department branch of the government. All you have to do is to look. Governors, mayors, congressmen, senators, department secretaries, and heads of agencies. Mayors all. You see them in private corporation and other business entities. They are everywhere. True. It is that there is a reason for a mayor to be proud, proud of his mistas, proud of his alma mater, and proud of the alumni association, proud of himself. This is ample reason to beat the breast, so to speak. But there is also a reason to fear and a cause for for both. That pride, if uncontrolled, can easily degenerate into arrogance, and from there the path of abuse opens. And after that, only God knows. That is why you should guard against. That is what you should not allow to happen. I am confident that though that steps shall be taken by you, if you have not done so yet, to address the worry. On that note, I end this short message. Thank you for giving once again to me the opportunity to speak my mind. Salamat po.